Hi there. Are you frustrated with the apparent lack of any government action on combating climate change? Do you get frustrated when they pay lip service to reducing carbon emissions, but then appear to do nothing or actually the opposite? Well, if so, you're amongst good company. My name's Peter Batt, uh, and I dropped in on the first uh, major action by Extinction Rebellion, a civil disobedience organisation which intends to put a great deal of pressure on the conventional political system. In this video, you see me in Parliament Square talking to writer and environmental campaigner George Monbiot about why such action is needed. This is the first of two videos. The second video is a much more general sweep of the entire protest on the 17th of November. Given how extreme the position is, we can't just be moderate anymore. No, 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 that's right, that's right. Well, the time for moderate. Do you want me to look at you or do you want me to look at the. Uh, you might as well look at me. Yeah, 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 that's right, yeah. <laughs> Hello, I'm Peter. Hi, Peter. Hello. Hi. Well, the time for moderation on these issues is well and truly over. Yes. Um, we've been banging on for years and years about climate breakdown, about ecological breakdown in general, yeah. and the action which should have been taken has not been taken, and as a result, the window of opportunity is closing. Yes. The level of action we have to take has been ramping up because the, 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 the opportunities to have done more moderate things earlier on, those have all gone. Yes. We have to have a massive shift in economic life, in political life, if we're going to have any chance of getting out of the death spiral yes. that we're currently in. Yeah. And, and that, in order to trigger that shift, we need to have this sort of action. This sort of solidarity, people prepared in large numbers to get arrested, people prepared to show that we are taking this seriously. Yes. If all you do is sit behind your laptop and send out tweets all day about how everything's collapsing, people don't take it seriously. Yeah. Because they think, well, you're not taking it seriously because where are you? And so this is just the beginning. Yeah. Otherwise we're doomed. Really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, and, and it has to ramp up, but it's very hopeful. Yes. Because I've been in this business 33 years, I've never seen people coming out like this for an issue like this. Yeah. So this, I think, is the beginning of a new place. In, in order to get change, we have to challenge vested interests. Mm -hmm. It's the interests that don't want to change, yeah. isn't it? It's, uh, let's be more specific about it. It's the oligarchy which doesn't want to change. Yeah. It's, it's a small number of extremely powerful and wealthy people yes. who want things to stay as they are because their short-term interests are radically different to the long-term interests of society. Exactly, yeah. And so they welcome all the dysfunction of inequality, of social injustice, and while they, they don't welcome environmental breakdown, they don't care about environmental breakdown, yeah. it's all about grabbing as many resources for themselves now as they possibly can. Yes. So in all of these issues, inequality, social injustice, environmental breakdown, we've got a common set of opponents and we have to stop them dominating us. Yes. And this is fundamentally a campaign for democracy.